Alright, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about Lucky Tackle Box and everything you need to know. I'm going to be talking about the pros, the cons, uh, just about everything. I'm going to go over it. Um, I was sponsored by Lucky Tackle Box for about two and a half years. Uh, and then I started to do saltwater fishing and they don't have the best saltwater box. So I uh, thought it was best to, you know, part ways. Um, so I did that and... I haven't been with any other tackle box subscriptions. I tried fishing care package. I, I read a lot about them. Um, they sent me out a few stuff. Uh, a couple videos back, I did a whole uh, video about them. You know, talking about fishing care packages uh, and showing you guys the bulk box. So you can check that video out. Uh, I'll link that right up hip uh, up there. Sorry. Um, and then, uh, so let's jump right into the lucky tackle box video. Um, so first, what we're going to talk about is the pros so they have a lot of different boxes to choose from um, so they have panfish box saltwater freshwater bass um, what else do they got uh, walleye I think uh, and then they have regions different regions so they have south north west um, east all those um, so they have a very good you know range of baits and all all the you know stuff that goes along with the the baits for the certain time of year um, so it's pretty helpful uh, it's nice because you can just jump on there buy whatever box uh, for the time of month or time of year and also the type of fish you're trying to, uh, to target so it's super nice they're super organized um, their website is very helpful as well that's another pro uh, if you jump on there it'll show you exactly where it is it's super easy to check out um, when I was with them we got a year subscription so we would just hop on there, pick whatever box he wanted, and uh, we'd get that for the year. So it was super, super easy. Um, and also, if you follow their Instagram page, they do give out discounts occasionally. Uh, you can get you know 10% off the coupons and all this other stuff. And also, if you follow a few of the people on Instagram who are sponsored by them, uh, you get 20% off or and $5 off the box. Sorry, not 20. Yeah, 25% off, um, So which is $5. Uh, I know the XL boxes are $25, uh, and you get about seven uh, hard plastics, a few soft plastics, and some hooks and some terminal tackle. So there's all kinds of awesome uh, gear in all the boxes. Very, it has a variety of equipment, so you're never going to be, you know, left without something, which is super nice. Um, I, for my two years, I got bass box for one, and I got saltwater for second. Uh, I try the saltwater. The saltwater's box is okay. Um, it's not the best um, I, It's been about a year since I've been with them, so they may have upgraded it, but I would get like bobbers and uh, uh, Soft plastic shrimp and all this other stuff it worked they were pretty good um, But I just half the stuff I would never use um, like I got one of this uh, some type of bait um, Let's see. I'm trying to remember what it was. It was something ridiculous um, And you know it didn't work, but the cool part about having the cool part about having um, baits that you've never used before is you might find that one bait that's going to be insanely helpful or catch a really big fish. Um, so sometimes it's nice to get a box that you know you don't have a lot of stuff with. So uh, I shouldn't really say that's a con um, or that the box is bad because um, like like I said uh, in the last video with the fishing care package half the baits I've never used before um, but I've so I've never used a fluke and I caught a five pound bass on a fluke uh, a couple weeks ago that was in another video uh, it's in one of the golf course videos uh, you guys can go check that out um, but it, it's pretty nice um, but the saltwater box doesn't have a very big variety um, like there's not many fish for saltwater it primarily um, targets snook redfish trout um, I know I'm forgetting one. There's four major tarpon, tarpon. Uh, those four majorly tar uh, targets. Um, but like when I'm in the Keys, we don't have many redfish or many snook or many trout. Um, we have plenty of tarpon. Uh, April, May, and June. Um, but when you're in the Keys, those kind of baits aren't the best. Um, but now if you're like uh, west coast of Florida, this box is perfect for you. The saltwater box. Um, but enough of the salt water, let's jump into the bass stuff. Um, the bass is a really good box. Um, I had the I had the bass box uh, for a year, and 
it was really really nice I learned a few baits that I've never used before um, like I had the fluke that I never used before I didn't even know what a fluke was at the time which is pretty crazy because it's such a common bait now um, but I uh, I've been catching a lot of fish on the flukes um, I got an umbrella rig in one of the boxes that I used and I caught two fish at once so that's pretty cool um, I've seen people catch you know four fish at once in the videos and stuff but uh, I, I've never been able to do that um, and then sometimes you get a bat um, I got a duck one time uh, just stuff it's just some crazy stuff some fun stuff um, and then there's a bunch of poppers that come with it um, all kinds of cool topwater baits so it's it's a big variety and when you're in Florida you can pick the southern region of the bass box and it'll give you all the baits for you know Florida because um, you know, I know up north they use a lot of the uh, crankbaits and all that. In Florida, we use a few crankbaits, but most of the baits are um, like swim baits and Zankos and soft plastics or top water. Um, and then up north, I know they use the square bills and all that um, and the rattle traps. So that's super helpful that you can you know pick the region you're in and it'll uh, it'll target the baits that you you will want eventually, um, and it's very helpful. Uh, I at one time I had so many uh, baits from Lucky Tackle Box that I wasn't using that I would do giveaways on my Instagram page and I did that about four to five times um, so you do get a lot of baits and I just couldn't like we travel full time so I couldn't travel with 500 baits that I wasn't gonna use so uh, I put a hundred baits in a box and I you know did a giveaway for it and uh, I shipped them all out and it was super cool because everyone got their stuff uh, but it's it was really fun uh, but they do give you a lot of baits I know for the bass box they give you soft plastics hooks hard plastics um, and then baits obviously that you've never used before um, and companies that you've never even heard of that's the cool thing you'll find a company that you've never used before and it could legit be that uh, company that you use forever um, like at one point I was using yum for about three years um, and then I got LTB like Lucky Tackle Box and Deep Creek Lures was in there and I have not bought any other baits other than Deep Creek Lures since um, they create incredible soft plastic baits um, and I just can't I just can't not buy them they're just too good um, in all of the bass fishing videos that you've seen me upload I don't know if, uh, if a lot of you guys are new here if you are new subscribe uh, we, I post all kinds of awesome fishing content um, but all of the fish that I catch in the bass fishing videos are strictly on Deep Creek lures. Um, all of the colors work. I don't know how and I don't know why. Um, I think it's the scent and just the way that they are made. Um, the 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 plastic they use is really really soft, so I feel like it has a lot of give to it. So and it's super nice. Um, when we Texas rig. I feel like that uh, worm has so much finesse in it that it, you know, triggers that strike immediately. Um, I've caught bass on almost every color they they have, um, from green to lime green to uh, yellow and black to this orange color that I've never even heard of. Um, I mean, I just I could go on. So I'll link their description down below. It's Deep Creek Lures. Um, and then you guys can go check out their website. Um, they have all kinds of crazy stuff. I know you guys won't be disappointed in it. Um, but back to Lucky Tackle Box. Um, they have the Panfish Box. I've never had this box, but I've seen the box on Instagram. Um, the cool thing about LTB is when you're on the team with them, they put you in a group chat with about 50 other people, and you can kind of collaborate with everyone. So you can kind of see what's in every box and see all of the baits that they put in there. And I thought that was really cool. So we get to share that content with you guys. So if you go to Lucky Tackle Box on their Instagram page and find out who is sponsored by them, you can find really good content on Lucky Tackle Box to to you know get that assurance that you're um, that you're getting the right stuff. Uh, and then you can also when you get on the website you'll click the box and it'll show you the description so you can be sure that you're buying the right box um the cons of lucky tackle box uh i do believe that the baits that they put in aren't the best quality of course you're going to get that really high quality baits too like deep creek lures i was super impressed with deep creek lures um and i haven't gone back um but there were a couple brands i'm not going to name who because i'm not going to you know bash anyone's company or whatever um but 
uh, the plastic on the on the lures would fall off. Like so, I got a jerk bait, um, and I was using it in Maryland. We were catching striped bass. Um, they're about 20, 25 inches, and you know we would skip it across the top, and they'd eat it, or you know do the do the jerk bait thing, and we got the fish in, and I unhooked the fish, and the the plastic that is connected to the plastic jerk bait totally came off. So I had the fish, and then where you tie it, the whole thing came off just randomly. Um, so it kind of it just broke, um, and the bait was pretty big, and the fish weren't destroying it like they it wasn't anything like insane. Um, so that that's one of the flaws. I don't think the baits are extremely high quality. I, I feel like um, it's the ones that were rejected, and Lucky Tackle Box gets them for a very you know very discounted price um, for the hard plastic. The soft plastics they're they're not really they can't really have. I mean, it's not going to be bad soft plastics. Like, they're like rejected soft plastics are going to work the same as regular soft plastics. Like, if it looks the same, it's going to work. But the hard plastics, if they're made improperly and they can break, that's a huge problem because if you hook a 10 pound bass on a jerk bait that wasn't made right, and you're you're going to lose that fish and you are going to be so sad because a fish like that is once in a lifetime type thing. Um, it may never happen again, so you really have to capitalize on those um, things. So uh, I was disappointed when it broke, but it was a one-time thing. It wasn't like, hey, every box of uh, allure is broken or whatever. So maybe it was a one-time little fluke. Um, but overall, Lucky Tackle Box is a great company. Uh, I was extremely impressed with the way their company is ran. Um, uh, the boxes were great. Um, the lures are amazing. Um, a few of them, you, like I said, are a little flimsy, but you know you can get past that. You can kind of tell what's cheap plastic and ones, you know, and what is you know the better baits. Um, and then the soft plastic, of course, is really good. And then the cool thing is you get Wu Tungsten. I don't know if you guys know what that is, but it's a really good tungsten brand, um, and that helps a lot in Florida um, when we flip and uh, Texas rigs. So you get you get some nice high quality stuff. Um, Wu Tungsten is pretty high quality. Um, so you get hooks, uh, sank, or hooks, soft plastics, hard plastics, terminal tackle, weight sometimes, um, just stuff you've never even heard of. Um, they also own a company called Bait Cloud, um, and they'll put those in the boxes sometimes. And they're these little blue balls that you throw in the water, and it creates bubbles and has scent in the um, in the ball. So it's really, it, it attracts all the fish. So it's kind of like chum. But it's dry and it's super easy to um, keep and like you know have in your box, so it's not just disgusting. Um, so I thought that was really cool. They sent us a bunch of those out and we got to test it. It was super cool. Um, so if you guys get a box, be sure to try to get some bait cloud with it. Uh, it would be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, that's that basically is Lucky Tackle Box in a nutshell. Um, it's a good company. They have a lot of good stuff. Um, I have about 28 boxes back home in Maryland. I'm currently in Florida, and I didn't travel with the boxes down here because um, I gave a lot of the lures away, and all the lures that I do have are in my tackle box currently, um, and I didn't wanna you know, show the just the stuff that was in there. So when I head back to Maryland, I'll see if I have a box laying around that I have never opened, because I do have a few up there that I haven't opened before. Um, and that I was gonna, you know, give away, but I never got a chance to. So I'll do an unboxing video when I get back to Maryland in May, uh, and uh, I'll show you guys what we get in the box. So uh, be sure to subscribe, and uh, the next video I'll be posting will be fishing oriented. It will be fishing. It won't be me talking about uh, baits and all this other stuff, companies. Um, so we're gonna try to get out there and fish another golf course spot that we have. Um, we haven't been there in a long time, so we're really hoping to get a, a really nice fish. Uh, but you can only fish it at night, so I'm trying to figure out how I can film it at night and it not be trash content. Like, I want you guys to be able to see everything. Um, so I'm going to figure that out. If not, I will go there just before it gets dark so we can try to get some footage there. Um, but stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.